All right, today we're talking about another Lion Steel in M390. It's another one of the slip joints, much like the other ones, all the other ones that I've tested. I believe the only different one so far, outside of blade shape, was the Bolus. And that one actually did okay. So, I had no idea this was coming. Going to leave a link to Mike's Instagram down below. Go check him out. He's been doing some cool stuff lately. So, I have another one of these to test. As of this filming, I did not ask him what the hardness was on this. I will find out afterwards and you can find it in the description below so we'll go ahead and get to the cutting talk about how it sharpened how it tested and go from there All right, and now that we saw that cutting, go ahead and talk about how this one did. For any of you who are not familiar with, I do have a few other tests of these knives. Just a different blade shape, like I mentioned in the beginning. You can go back and watch them, see how they did. You can find them on the data sheet which has all the tests that I've published so far on it. So what did this one do? Well, this one is actually ground a little bit thinner than some of the other ones I tested. And this did come to me. It had already been sharpened. I didn't ask Mike how many times he had sharpened it, so I did go ahead and put three edges on it so that I knew when I started it had been sharpened at least four times. And on the first test, 56 feet fine edge, 19 feet working edge for a total of 75 feet. Sharpened it again the same way, it's 1500 grit, dropped the same way, Ran the test one more time. On the verification test, 55 feet fine edge, 21 feet working edge for a total of 76 feet. One big explanation for that, I don't know if the videos are actually still up and pictures on the Lion Steel Instagram page. But they may still have, but definitely did have, some grinding footage. And the spark shower they had coming off of, of these blades was just way beyond what you want to see. They also had some videos on there that showed that prior to grinding, some of these were testing in the 60 to 61 range for a hardness. Now, kind of like Steve talked about yesterday, I'm just going to say these things are way overheated. Small blade, not very thick stock, not a lot of meat left, 
the huge spark shower they have coming off there. And I could understand if it was one knife at this point. But this is at least the fourth one that I've done in this same style. And I don't believe any of them, I could be wrong, but I don't think any of them broke 100 feet total cutting during a test. Now, yeah, the bowl list did. That's so far a one out of at least six Lion Steel M390s I've tested that did not do well. So how was it in sharpening? In sharpening, there's... The other ones didn't feel real good either. Even the higher grit stones, like the 1500 grit diamond stone, had way, way too much bite on this steel. I have no, no idea what the actual hardness at the edge is. I have no way to test that. I'm going to say it's not very high going by the performance. Is it totally a grinding issue? I don't know. Could they get a 60 to 61 hardness prior to grinding and still mess up on the heat treat? Absolutely. I have no idea what the microstructure of this actually looks like. Would be interesting to see, but I do not own one that I could send to Roman or anyone else and break into pieces to see what it actually looks like. So, right now, still haven't found one of these that does well. This particular one for being M390, you're looking at low performing D2 numbers at 76 feet. Don't have anything else to say about it. You guys have any questions, comments, anything else? Maybe you have one of these. Chime in on how yours actually does, feels in sharpening. Put it down below. As always, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.